last video we showed how to use uh, mirroring so I'm going to show you a live example now or a more detailed example so I'm going to open uh, one of our models I've got ready so here we've got a head that's already made up and I'm just selected this side here now this is already set up with a instance mirror side here and you can tell that because I'm clicking on it and nothing's actually happening which means that this is the only true geometry just to check that we'll turn open up the instance mirror options like so and we'll just toggle that off so there you go that shows the inside the eyes are actually just two spheres and they are true objects so what we've done there, we've modelled all of this head using box modelling and instance mirror turned on like so. And then all the way through we've been affecting just this side, modelling this side, tweaking as, I, as it's called what I'm doing now on this side and that's then been mirrored across and that's made the entire model like so. So that's a practical example of what uh, mirrored uh, instance mirrored modeling can do and how you can use it and it's a tool a, a technique that you'll use quite a lot in subdivision modeling now in a lot of programs there's some form of magnet which pulls uh, amounts of geometry around to save you doing single mouse clicks like so so if we were to want to adjust for example this eye you could go in point by point and adjust it like so and that is what you will be doing for a lot of, of parts of models but quite often that's very very laborious and isn't going to help you to get the desired effect at the speed you need to get it so what we do is go over to soft selection and switch that on and if we select any vertice you'll see an area of influence going from orange out to red and if I roll my mouse, I'm rolling it backwards now, that's reducing that area of effect down towards the center selected point. So I'll do another one. Select it on uh, the ear, for example, like so. If I want to increase the area of influence, I roll the mouse forward, and you'll see that selection growing, going from orange, darker orange, darker orange, out to a red here. I'll keep rolling, it'll select the whole object. Now if I wanted to move the ear around point by point, that would be quite laborious so I could just select a point and then just use all of the normal tools now for tweaking the shape and as you can see because the sphere of influence is so large it was affecting quite a large amount of the head so if we want to just change a small amount now we reduce the amount of influence like so you can see we can quickly adjust the mouth quickly adjust the cheeks this is great for working on things like um, expressions and just slightly changing the, the look of an object or we could radically change the look of this creature just by using this one technique alone what you will find you'll be doing is using a combination of single point moves um, and soft selection now we've done all that in point mode at the moment or vertex mode so if I just go to face mode you'll see exactly what I mean and you can pull by faces which is exactly the same or keyboard S and just do edges so it's again any of the components are exactly the same if I just go back to point mode which is my preferred one reduce the influence and we'll just give the guy quite a large nose bring out the forehead and the, the whole the overall look of the creature just with those few moves has changed completely as you can see it's altered the look and the feel with such a, a small amount of, of work like so There's one tool that I use, one technique that I use in conjunction with this quite a lot, which is the smooth command. 
and the smooth command can be used to smooth out a piece of, of geometry um, again I find that I use it a lot with uh, mirrored objects like so I'm just going to move that across there so if I was to select a um, chunk of the ear and I'll just reduce the influence by rolling the mouse wheel back and then if I was to call the smooth command which is in modify smooth there uh, you'll see that it's tightened all of that area and smoothed it out now calling that up individually like that can be a real bind time consuming bind really so we'll shut down the smooth there and instead of calling smooth over and over again from this menu if we just go to editor options mouse settings and then if we go to the scroll wheel and if we use um, control and shift for example so we're going to use control shift and change that to smooth and we'll leave the wheel down control shift and undo so that will be fine what we've got then is the ability to select those that ear section again and then by holding down the control and shift and rolling the mouse forward I can smooth it by iterations like so and then roll the wheel back and it'll undo it and I can work around the head any areas that I feel need to be smooth because I've got soft selection on it's still using that influence so if I was to give that a huge amount of influence like so by rolling the wheel forward then control and shift and just one smooth the whole model be would become smoother it actually break the scene which we don't want so it's a great tool um, but a very powerful one and that's a great setting if you can keep that you can actually save that preference out and you'll find that when I when I go through box modeling later on you'll see me use this quite a lot to smooth out models and meshes it's opened the seam there which we wouldn't want I'm going to go back like so. So we'll quickly, to finish this video, we'll go back to object mode and we'll turn on instance mirror toggle, um, mirror geometry option. I don't want to do that, I want to put instance mirror options and then select this half and turn off the mirror what we want to do now is just put the f instead of using instance mirror we need to make this permanent geometry as we did earlier so we'll select mirror geometry options we'll leave enable symmetry on and we'll mirror across and that then gives us the full head with full true geometry we can still move points as we need to and we can still turn soft selection on and off as needed but it's on true geometry on both sides of the head as you can see and that would be to getting towards the edge end of the finished head using the two types of mirroring and soft selection. We'll just do a smooth with the keyboard C just to see what it looks like. And you can see there sort of approximation of uh, still a low poly head but um, certainly a lot smoother than it was.